the rubber leech. I was reading Trout and Salmon last year about what uh, grayling were eating in some of the rivers. Uh, I think the article was done by a tweed uh, guide, uh, Finn Wilson. Um, one of the biggest things that uh, I got from it was the variety of food that they actually eat um, and also um, a leech of I've not been fishing that long but a leech was certainly one that I'd never ever heard or seen before so um, I came up with this pattern um, it's just quite a simple pattern it's just a uh, coloured uh, virtual nymph skin uh, I've got the this one in black and I've also done it in green I'm going to try some other variations but um, I've, to be fair I've not really given this a good go because my garden fly has been doing so well so um, but uh, the grayling certainly seem to like them according to that survey so I'm definitely going to try fishing it over the winter and into next year um, so here we go uh, Daiichi 1870 size 10 it's the same hook that I use perfect size um, it's the same hook that I use on my garden fly <clears throat> now it is weighted it's not very heavy um, need to concentrate while I'm counting them on I like everything to be the same so it's 20 tons now the finished fly, including the hook, only comes in at around about 0.3 to 0.31 grams. Now, what does that mean? What that means is basically this hook plus a 3mm slotted bead, that's the exact same weight. So you think putting 20 tonnes of uh, lead on a hook is going to add a big, it doesn't. Um, I much prefer tungsten, but you just cannot get the beads uh, round this hook. This hook I've been finding has been unbelievable on the point. It just does not snag at all. It fishes this way up. Um, and between the where the hook point is and the eye of the hook, it just does not catch, even in very slow water. I was fishing the Nath last week and I uh, swapped it over for a jig. Very light jig, only a 3mm jig and in slow water. And the Nath is quite gravel based and uh, snagged right away right so turn the wire always cover it up regardless of what I'm doing with uni stretch cover it up in no time the leech is it can stretch out and be very thin but I like all my flies to be very thin so they sink quicker just the minimal cover over the lead, it doesn't really matter, it's more so in the garden fly when you can actually see through it, but because we're using black virtual nymph skin, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so just give it a very thin covering, um, back, forward, and that'll do us. If you're doing that with thread, that would take you, take you literally forever. If you just put that tag end over the the lead it stops it sinking in between the wraps just get the rough start that's as ready to go now I'm a bit belt and braces uh, as far as flies go and I, I could leave it white but I just just in case and to make it even darker I'll just colour this um, into a degree with some black felt tip paint. Again, you don't need to, but... Just in case it had happened to show through, but I don't think so. Right. Now, the way I tie in my uh, numb skin, I've seen one or two guys doing it, and they, I think they seem to kind of struggle a bit, but... This is the way I've found. You need to get a really good vise. The jaws on this are absolutely fantastic and you can, if I can keep out of the way of the camera, you can really tighten it. It's very easy to move it. I'll just move the camera slightly to the wheel. This is a guy in Austria that makes these for us. Uh, they fit on a Snowbee wa Waldron. Uh, he's called Werner. 
uh, Fly Only Project, I think's his website. Uh, he's just a small engineer and he makes these himself. He also does a full vice, but these jaws are absolutely fantastic. And the handle there is just so easy to use. I didn't like the handle on the Snow Bee Waldron. I, th I felt it was first. It was just very awkward to get to, hard to move. Um, black Nano Silk. You're going to use this for the rib. Um, I don't use nylon or anything like that. It's far too thick. And it's hard to, you're better uh, keeping your thread on a bobbin. It's much easier to use and you can pull the nano silk really tight. So, this is uh, what we're using. Virtual Nim Skin from uh, Dale Rushby. It's fantastic stuff. It comes in loads of different colours, but I, the predominance that I use is the, the translucent one. This is the black. 3mm, I don't use it, it does a thicker one but I don't use that, I just find it's it's just too thick. Um, cut it at an angle, offer the point up so that the 45 degree angle's uh, facing away from you and just catch that in. A couple of turns and then stretch it out just to keep it nice and thin and that's you ready to go. Get the thread, again this is where this uh, is really good the uh, wheel I can get my bobbin out the road I just realized that the wrong glasses on there my sight must be getting good I could actually see what I was doing there right here we go uh, so what you want doesn't matter really what thread you put on this is white but I'll, I'll give it a wee dash with a black felt tip I don't have two lots of black I don't use a lot of black, it's nearly all white, I use and just colour it. So that's us ready to go, so we've got a bobbin at the front and a bobbin at the back. The bobbin at the front is just to tie the numb skin, up, skin off. So what to do, your 45 degree is facing up the way. Um, first turn, first two turns you want to pull it really really tight. If you've not secured it, it will just pull out, but um, you'll get used to that. So just give it a good pull. One wrap. Two wraps. That takes up the 45 degree angle, so you're now into the full width of the nymph skin. So you want to start halfway over. And then you'll see, if I can maybe adjust the light, you'll maybe be able to, you'll see a line forming halfway down where it covered the last and that's where you put your next as I say I've seen a couple of guys doing it and they get into an awful mess and it basically shows you where to to put the all I do is all I'm doing here is altering the pressure but it's always half the turn before it's exactly the same for the garden fly or when I'm doing caddis patterns and you get lovely neat segments and if you just slacken it off a bit, it accentuates the the lump. And then what you'll see is, I'm still covering half and half. But you'll find, if you see I always also hold it down with my finger, um, that stops it springing off. I find that 6 centimeters is the maximum you need for any fly. This is a size 10, but it's quite a long hook. You don't want to waste a lot, but if, if you use a big length of it, it's very hard to finish it off because it's hard to whip, finish round it, etc. So coming up to the end, this is the way I've found. So what I'll do is try and keep it the road of the camera. I'll really tighten the vise down, really clamp it in. Pull it down tight again. So if you keep your finger on top of it, you can go and do other things and it's it doesn't spring away. So... Second to last turn, really stretch it now, really pull it down, wrap it round, and then if your vice is good enough, you can really, really stretch it out, hold it with your nail, one turn, two turns, and with the nymph, with the sorry, nano silk that ties it in, but you'll see because there's there's not a lot of waste there. I can work with this really easily now. So just maybe two turns. That, 
that's everything locked in place and it's given you a really neat head without any build up straight in because there's not a lot of waste I can whip finish that no problem at all you don't need to bother about it I mean you're going to cover it with UV so really tight and you can see how neat that head is now good to remember that we're still to bring a rib up so we've still not finished the head properly yet scalpel to take that off now what you do is put your scissors underneath the eye push up pull down the numb skin and cut it off and you see how nice and neat that is as I say we've still to finish it and finish it off with the, with the actual rib so we're nearly finished just to bring the rib down so just bring your nanosilk off the bobbin at the back now what you want to do you are bringing the rib on at the back and then just follow your numb skin down pulling it really tight that really accentuates the <clears throat> it really accentuates all the way down there pull it in nice and tight lovely segmentation you don't get so much here because I've pulled it really really tight but with the nano silk you can really bind it down hold it with your finger or you might pull it out you'll break the hook before you break nano silk and then neaten up the head with the nano silk again no build up this is 12 watt nano silk no build up lovely and neat one two three off pull it tight and that's us pretty much finished you see there lovely segmentation pulled it in the, see the uni stretch underneath um, it makes the base soft whereas if you use thread it's quite firm the uni stretch is very soft so it gives it more to dig into and it really accentuates the segmentation on that um, solar is UV thin So somebody using varnish the other day there, but uh, sorry, nail varnish, but black nail varnish, but I don't think you really need to do that because it's it's black in the first place. So. Small drop, less is more. Uh, art, art brush, sable art brush. Make sure you've got a good bit at the head, fasten that in and what you don't want to do is you don't want to lose you don't want to do go to all that effort of putting segment segmentation into something and then lose it so what you've got to remember about uh, UV solar is UV resin is you can really do whatever you want with it until you hit it with a torch so if you've got too much just rub it just rub it with your finger but you just can't do it. I see guys still using dubbing needles, needles and whatever. Just get a brush. Very, very thin. Look at the finish on that. And just get your torch. I don't use any of these. Uh, I used to use one of these wee thin pen things. But get yourself a decent torch it really saves you a lot of time and you know it's it's covering the full thing nearly just in the one go you only need about 10 I will always give it a wee bit longer but you only need 10-15 seconds max <coughs> remembering that, that this will fish that way down the rubber you can see nice neat head great segmentation nice and shiny Rock hard, the leech.